Does the universe ring like a crystal glass? Maybe. But it doesn't mean that it literally rings and we just don't hear it, it just vibrates. Many of you know that the universe started with the Big Bang around 13.8 billion years ago. I wasn't around then, but we can assume. The whole enchilada was born from a super-concentrated, hot, and dense tiny dot that contained everything. When it couldn't bear its pressure anymore, it made a huge blast and spewed around all the time, space, matter, and antimatter like a pokeball. After being born, the universe moved at a breakneck speed. Imagine standing in the middle of nowhere, you blink, and suddenly you're surrounded by the universe. That's what it would feel like. It started growing and growing, and eventually, its speed got slowed down a bit by gravity. Gravity started pulling all the matter together, slowly helping new things like stars and galaxies to form. Okay, makes sense so far. The Big Bang gave the universe a big push accelerating it. Logically, everything should eventually slow down and start moving at a constant speed, or even stop, right? Well, nope. In the late 90s, astronomers discovered something weird. They looked at some supernova around us, and for some reason, these supernovas were super far away, much farther than they were supposed to be. In other words, the expansion of the universe is not only continuing after all these years, but it's even accelerating. After years of study, they discovered the concept of dark energy, a mysterious force that makes up about 68% of the universe's total energy. This energy pushes it to expand even faster over time. And now, scientists have proposed a new discovery. Perhaps the universe's movements are a bit, well, wobbly. It seems like the universe's expansion hasn't been smooth and stable over the years. Instead, it has undergone periods of speeding up and slowing down multiple times. Astronomers counted about seven cycles of this acceleration and deceleration over the history of our universe. This can be compared to the oscillation of a crystal glass. When you strike a crystal glass, it vibrates, oscillating at its natural frequency. It goes through fluctuations in which the frequency rises and falls. Over time, it calms down and fades away. Well, something like this is happening to our universe. You can imagine its speed also fluctuating like that, rising and falling, first super rapidly and then more calmly. As if it's not just different waves traveling through it, but our entire world is like one huge ringing wave. The discovery was actually made by accident. Astronomers were working on dark matter modeling. They plotted a new graph called the Hubble Diagram, which shows how big the universe got over the years, measured in supernovas. Supernovas are like some lighthouses of our world, helping us mark things on a map. That's when they found these oscillations. But we still need to check all the data to make sure that this discovery is indeed true. Dark energy and dark matter play this weird game with the universe, where one is constantly trying to pull everything together, while the other one wants everything to expand. So far, dark energy vastly outweighs dark matter, whose weight makes up only 27% of the universe. Now, both of them are invisible to us. And not just invisible to our eyes, like infrared, it's that we literally can't detect them in any way. We can only assume that they exist, based on how they influence gravity, changing entire galaxies, and all the large-scale structures of the universe. We basically made them up, because it was the only way to explain how our world works. Dark energy is uniformly distributed across space and time, and we're still not sure what exactly it is. Some theories say that it could be a property of space itself, quantum fluctuations, or even a new type of field or particle. But all we have for now is an invisible energy that pushes the universe to move very fast. If one day we learn more about it, this will help us predict the entire fate of our world. Depending on how exactly dark energy works, the universe may continue expanding and growing indefinitely. Or maybe one day, it will experience the big rip, where all matter will be completely torn apart. Okay, here's to hoping we're not all around for that. Meanwhile, dark matter, also invisible and yet to be proved, works the opposite way. It's not energy that accelerates things. Instead, it's more like a glue that tries to hold everything together. It's a type of matter we can't detect because it doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light. 
We don't even know what particles make up this thing. We still can't catch them. At first, we thought it might be made up of regular heavy particles, like the one that makes up our world. But after years of research, they haven't found even a single one. So now they think maybe it's actually made up of ultralight particles, millions of times lighter than anything we know. And because of that, we can't even notice them properly. So now, astronomers try to detect not the particles themselves, but waves that they could leave as they move through space. But we believe that it exists, because if it didn't, our galaxies wouldn't hold together. Dark matter helps them form, grow, and rotate. So about 85% of our world is made of something unknown. All of this is incredibly mysterious and needs a lot of research. But that's what we know now. Maybe in the future, we'll discover something that will completely change our perception of the universe. That's what happened to Albert Einstein. In the early 20th century, most scientists, including Einstein, believed that the universe doesn't actually move. They thought it was static, neither expanding nor contracting. That's because, to us, it feels like it doesn't really move. Back then, scientists didn't have powerful computers or telescopes that could detect all the little changes in the positions of stars and supernovas. When Einstein developed his famous general theory of relativity in 1915, his equations actually suggested that the universe should either be expanding or contracting. This didn't really make sense to him. To fix this calculation flaw, he decided to introduce a new term, the cosmological constant. It was like a repulsive force that counteracted the attractive force of gravity. Essentially, it meant that while gravity tries to push everything together, some force or energy helps to balance this out by pushing everything apart. Sounds familiar? Then, in the 1920s, astronomers Edwin Hubble and Georges Lemaitre found out that the universe isn't static, it actually expands. They noticed a slight reddish tint from the distant galaxies, and this tiny hint meant that other galaxies were moving away from us. After that, Einstein scratched out the cosmological constant. Interesting how he was later ashamed of this assumption, calling it his greatest blunder. He didn't even know that he was a hundred years ahead of his time accidentally discovering dark energy. Now the cosmological constant is back again, just in a new form. Something similar happened with dark matter. Scientists have already started noticing that something doesn't add up back in the early 20th century. They saw that galaxy clusters didn't have enough visible mass to hold them together, which means there must be some unseen mass that helps to make up for it. And that's when it got its name, the dark matter. This stayed unresolved and unproven for many years. And then it was finally discovered by Vera Rubin when she was observing galaxies and their movement. She realized that outward parts of galaxies move almost as fast as their central parts. This doesn't really make sense. The outer part should be a bit slower. This became the first official proof of dark matter which boosted its research. There are still many things left to be discovered. But maybe one day, we'll understand what is this invisible part of our universe that makes it ring. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.